the uterus meridian, the uterus vessel, it, remember it has this shu relationship. It has a relationship of, sh of belonging, of shu, of homing to the heart, which really means that it, it, it is kind of like united with the heart, that it is, it is really, um, there's a kind of union, you know, with, with the heart through the shu relationship. And it has a uh, low relationship to the kidneys. So this relationship of kind of like a vascular kind of networking relationship. So it has this low relationship, this, this uh, again, kind of like network, networking relationship to the kidneys. Or in other texts, it's saying that it has this low relationship, not to the kidneys per se, but that that low relationship is to the baozhong, which literally would be the center of the uterus, but more, um, say metaphorically, but more, let's just say more generally, means that it is connected to this very origin of life, place where life originates, the place where life begins, which in some senses links it with Ming Men too, you might say. So anyway, this Bao Mai relationship, and we see over and over again the importance of how this heart-kidney axis, Kwa Bao Mai, in a gynecological context, is, is really um, having, playing the central role in all of female physiology, and in particular in relation to the menstrual cycle. So as we know, of course, you know, the heart masters the blood. So the Xin, the, the phrase really is Xin Zhu Shui. And in this case, he's saying Xing Shui movement of the blood so the heart and then the other thing that we know of course right the heart is the is the house of the shen the heart houses the shen and the shen also moves with the blood the blood is the the steed of the shen as it were so we see this this very clear relationship to the shen to the movement of the blood, the blood itself. And then lastly, as we know, you know, the heart is the center of emotional life. The heart is, through its relationship of housing the Shen, the sort of integrating place, the integrating space of the emotional life. So, so all of those things, of course, go together. And the Bao Mai belonging to or homing into the heart, belonging to the heart, is all part of that. And then lastly speaking in terms of menstruation, let's just say that we have this uh, aspect of uh, that the heart is responsible for this tong, you want to translate as, as flow, flow through communication, for free-flowing communication and for complete penetration of, of, uh, of uh, the flow through, in this case, also has a sense of completion of the flow uh, through and remembering that, that heart five, which is the low point on the heart channel, to penetrate, to flow through the inside. Right, that's that's the name, same tongue, to flow through the inside. Uh, also, remembering before we, when we were talking about the herb, which is mu tongue, the wood wood penetration, same tongue. All of this is the same, the same tongue, the mu tongue, and the mu tongue having that function, having that that power of of unblocking the flow, unblocking the flow of urine, unblocking the flow of the menses, uh, for amenorrhea, and then unblocking the flow of the breast milk too, right? This idea that the emotions can cause some sort of uh, backflow, some sort of arresting of this tongue, some kind of stoppage of the song makes a lot of sense, right? That there would be this way in which um, a certain type of emotional experience would cause a constriction or a backflow, as it were, of the heart. So, so you see how that's, that this would be possible because of this Baomai relationship and all of the connotations of the heart.